Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the webinar on the pre-tax savings account. This webinar is intended for state employees. So let's uh, get started on this. With the uh, pre-tax savings accounts, uh, we're going to go through the, there's a vendor update. Uh, I know some of it, you're, you're used to the Connect Your Care organization, and now it is called uh, Optum Financial. Uh, we'll talk about the different enrollment, pre-enrollment requirements as well. There are differences in certain uh, limit increases, okay? And uh, new eligible expenses and certain reminders. The one big reminder, keep in mind that this pre-tax savings uh, plan program that we have is only available to state employees. All right. Now, with that in mind, let's specifically jump into the updates. So Optum Financial is replacing what you're all familiar with, Connect Your Care. Those of you that have been in the system, uh, you're familiar with Connect Your Care, it is changing to Optum Financial. They're in the process of changing everything uh, as far as branding is concerned that's underway currently. You'll be able to go on to the uh, website and be able to notice the change right away. If you have an app on your phone, it automatically updates for you. But you can use the same website, connectyourcare.com slash EDF. Now, the customer service offerings do remain the same. Uh, payment cards are not going to be reissued. You can still use the same card until it expires. And again, don't worry about the website. You can still go to Connect Your Care. And uh, as far as your changes to your phone, that will happen automatically. You do not have to worry about that particular part. Now, re-enrollment requirements. You have to re-enroll in the pre-tax saving account every year. Those of you who've been doing it probably know this already. Current enrollments do not automatically carry forward. You must continue to do that. And these re-enrollment apply to all six of the account types. There's the healthcare spending account. Those of you, you know, you probably call it by its acronym FSA. Uh, there's the limited purpose flexible spending account or the LPFSA. Uh, the health savings account, sometimes people get confused with that between the FSA, but the health savings account is the HSA. And the dependent care account, sometimes maybe you've seen that listed as DCAP or DCAP. The dependent care account program, that also has to require re-enrollment. And you also have to re-enroll for any parking or transit account pre-tax considerations as well. There are different eligibility requirements and each has its own annual limits. Uh, please visit our website to get more details on that. Okay, and earlier I mentioned there could be some changes in the 2022 limits. There are only two contribution limits, uh, if, uh, annual limit changes for 2022. The individual limit for the HSA, the health savings account, is an increase of $50 from last year. So the individual contribution went from 3,600 to 3,650. So 3,600 to 3,650. Uh, so an extra $50 you can have as a contribution. The family limit went up $100, so it went from $7,200 to $7,300. There are no contribution changes to any of the other programs, meaning the FSA or the limited purpose FSA, or for that matter, the parking and transit account for that matter as well. Now, there are some new eligible expenses and this may be a sign of the times, but they now include any personal protective equipment uh, for the primary purpose of preventing the spread of COVID. So that includes face masks, hand sanitizer, disposable gloves, sanitizing wipes. And so this is changing, or the change, I should say, is retroactive to January 21, 2021. So current account users, you can submit any purchases made prior to plan year or made during the plan year of 2021 to get reimbursement. You can go to the Optum Financial website to see the full list of eligible expenses. So just as a reminder, 
There are some temporary uh, dependent care account program provisions. First of all, the relief legislation that allowed uh, changes is not carried over. They will not be offered. They were retroactive. They will not be offered to the year 2022. So any carryovers. So if you need more communication, please refer to the communications from the Optum Financial uh, as far as uh, any more details about these changes and what kind of impact they might have to your dependent care account. Again, previously, Optum was referred to as Connect Your Care. But if you have any questions about this, please contact them directly. The other thing that you need to concern yourselves about or be aware of is the retirees currently enrolled in an HSA have two options to re-enroll. If you are new, you can enroll online or fill out a paper form. Okay, so if you're new to the system, feel free to use the online version. If you're more of a paper person, feel free to use the paper version. What I meant for new for 2022 is you can enroll online. Uh, those are just strictly for um, uh, people that are already enrolled. Now, if you're brand new to the system, newly enrolling retirees, you have to use the paper. There is no online for you if you are brand new. If you're just starting off to use any of these pre-tax accounts, please use the paper system only. People that are already in the system, you do have the option of using the online. If you're more comfortable with the paper, and I know a lot of people are, feel free to do so. If you have questions about any of these accounts, you can contact Optum Financial. They are available 24 hours a day, toll-free number that you can see there on your screen. You also have the website to connect your care. And again, it is the same title. Again, it is Optum Financial. This is only available for state employees. If you are actively still employed, please contact your payroll benefits specialist because they will be able to guide you and help answer your questions on both your eligibility as well as your payroll deductions. Okay, so let's take a look at some resources as far as the open enrollment preview, uh, different webinars, and different resources that you can have available to you. So those resources, as far as the open enrollment is concerned, there is a video out there that you can access. It's a very short video, but it's uh, got great information. It's about a two-minute overview of all the different changes, the different health benefits, and this would apply to all members. And as you can see on the screen, there is the link, there is the address to it. And again, keep in mind, you will get a link to this slideshow, so you'll be able to access that link fairly easily. Now, also the health benefit webinars. We also have multiple health benefit webinars that are going to be available. They're throughout the open enrollment time period, so throughout this month. And they'll cover all the different topics, all the health insurance, pharmacy, both for active members and retirees, any of the supplemental programs, such as dental, vision. There'll be more webinars on the pre-tax savings accounts as well. So uh, different webinars involving the vendors, all the vendors and health plans are participating. And this is, again, going on throughout open enrollment. Make sure you do register for that, and please do not use any of your personal identifiable information. Uh, if you have any questions, please see our website for any of this. We do have a health education center. Uh, it's a new website specifically with information different resources about different things that people uh, find very common. Learn more, please go visit that, that particular website. So the member resources site, the ETF website is a great place to, to start. You can access a lot of different information starting with our website. It'll actually have all the different changes for 2022 as far as the state employees, local employees, same for all the different program options. There will be different materials, PDFs that you can download, different uh, decision guides, contact information. So you'll be able to access all of that. Now, the next step for you, again, keep in mind, open enrollment. If you're going to make any of these changes, you have a limited time. It's from September 27th, which was a couple days ago, 
uh, through October 27th. So it started Monday, September 27th, earlier this week. It goes through Friday, October 22nd. So visit our website or attend one of our multiple webinars that we have available about the different changes for the year 2022, or contact your vendor or your employer benefit specialist as far as you have specific questions. So on your screen, there's some contact information, both our website and our numbers that you can call us, our Twitter account. One of the things I always like to recommend to people is the ETF email updates. And so if you go to our website, you can sign up for those ETF email updates. And what they do is they provide you with basically updates that are emailed to you whenever there is any new information to let you know that if there are any changes that are coming out. So anyway, I appreciate everybody joining in. All right. Take care, everyone. Have a good rest of the week. All right. Take care. Thank you.